Age of Eichmann, Anders Breivik Berdick, Ravadan Kranstik, and Pol Pot are some of the names of the well-known murderous Islamophobe and anti-Semite that you have likely heard of. But I can imagine that most people have never heard the name Omar de Trocomada, the Grand Inquisitor and the directors of the Spanish Catholic Church under the King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Isabella I of Castile to force Jews and Muslims to convert to Roman Catholicism or get executed for no reasons. The Inquisition was created through Papal Bull at Bolidum, issues at the end of the 12th century by Pope Lucius III to combat the Albigensian heresy in southern France. Many tribunals of the Papal Inquisition in various European kingdoms during the Middle Age through different diplomatic and political means. In the kingdoms of Aragon, the tribunals of Papal Inquisition was established by the, by the statutes of Excommunicamus of Pope Gregory. Pope Gregory the Knight in 1232 during the eras of Albigensian heresy. As a condition of peace, arrogance, the Inquisition was ill reserved by the concerns that the Iberian Peninsula, large Muslims and Jewish populations would have a radical influence on the Catholic populations. Rome pressed the kingdoms to accept the Papal Inquisition after Aragon. Navarra concerned it in the 13th century and Portugal by the end of the 14th century, so its Roman Inquisition was firmly inactive. Castells refused steadily, trusting in prominent positions in Europe and its military power to keep the Pope's interventionism in check. By the end of the Middle Age, England due to distance and voluntary compliance and the Castiles, due to resistance and powers, were the only Western European kingdom to resist the establishment of the Inquisitions. In their realm successfully, there are several hypotheses of what prompted the tribunal creations after centuries of tolerance. Queen Isabella and her husband saw the success of the French Inquisition in France. King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Isabella I wanted to deal with the various religions in the land of Spain, but the dreams came true when Fray Alonso de Orgia, a Dominican friar from Seville, convinced Queen Isabella of the existence of crypto Judaism among Andalusian conversos during her stay in Seville between 1477 and 1478, a report produced by Bredo González de Mendoza, Archbishop of Seville, and by the Sejovian Dominican Tomás de Trocomada of Conversal family himself, corroborated these assertions, and then the Inquisition began. King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Isabella I of Castile request a papal bull establishing an inquisition in Spain in 1478. Pope Sitas IV granted a bull permitting the monarchs to select and appoint two or three priests over 40 years of age to act as inquisitor. In 1483, Ferdinand and Isabella established a state council to administer the inquisition with the Dominican Ferra Tomás de Tocomada serving as its president even However, Sictas IV protests the activities of the Inquisition in Aragon and its treatment of the Conversal. Trocomada eventually assumed the title of Inquisitor General. King Ferdinand II pursues both Sictas IV to agree to an Inquisition controlled by the monarchies by treating to withdraw military support when the Turks were a threat to Rome. The popes issued a boost who stopped the Inquisition but was precious into starting it. On the 1st of November 1478, Sictas published the Papal Bull, Exinges de Sigella de Votes Affaires, through which he gave the monarch exclusive authority to name the Inquisitioner in their kingdom. The first two inquisitors, Miguel de Moro and Juan de Saint Martin, were not named until two years later. On the 22nd of September 1480, in Medina del Campo, the first auto dafe was held in Seville. On 6 of February 1481, six people were burned alive. 
From there, the Inquisition overgrew in the kingdoms of Castile. By 1492, tribunals existed in eight Castilian city: Agua, Coroba, Jan, Merida del Campo, Segoa, Seguncia, Toledo, and Volatot. In 1483, Jews were expelled from all of Andalusia. Charles the Pope wanted to crack down on abuse. Ferdinand pressured him to promulgated a new bull, threatening that he would otherwise separate the Inquisition from Catholic authorities. Sid just did so on 17 of October 1483, naming Tomás de Trujillo, Inquisitors General of Aragon, Valencia, and Catalonia. Trujillo quickly established protocols of for the Inquisition. A new court would announce a 30-day grace period for confessions and the gatherings of accusations by neighbors. Evidence used to identify a crypto chiefs including the absence of chimneys, smokes and Saturday, a site the family might secret secretly be honoring the Shabbat. Buy many vegetables before Passover, purchasing meat from a convert butcher. The court could employ physical tortures to extract confessions. Once the accused guilt had been established, crypto Jews were allowed to confess and penance, although those who replaced were executed. In 1484, Pope Innocent VIII attempted to allow appeals to Rome against the Inquisition, which would weaken the institution function as protection against popes. Still, in December 1484 and again in 1509, Ferdinand discredited dates and confiscations for anyone trying to use such protocol without royal permission. With this, the Inquisition became the only institution that hates authorities across all the realms of the Spanish monarchy and a proper mechanism at the crowd service. The cities of Aragon continued resisting and even saw rewards as in Teruel from 1484 to 1485. The murders of Inquisitor Pedro Abreu in Zaragoza on 15 of September 1485 caused public opinion to turn against the conversos and in favor of the Inquisition. In Aragon, the Inquisitioner's courts were expectedly focused on members of the powerful conversal minority and their influence in the Aragonese administrations. The Inquisition was extremely active between 1480 and 1530, driven in some source gave different estimated of the numbers of trial and executions in this period. Some estimated about 2,000 executions based on the documentation of the auto da fe in great majority being conversos of Jewish origins, he affords striking status that 91.6% of those judges in Valencia from 1484 and 1530 and 99.3% of those deems in Barcelona between 1484 and 1505 were of Jewish origin. The Spanish Inquisition was infamous for using torture methods such as the rack, thumbscrew, and the Iron Maiden. Muslims who live in the Emirate of Granada fear that Inquisition came into the, this Emirate, and it's true. In 1482, the Granada Wars was beginning. Christian forces captured Alma de Granada in February 1482. This marked the beginnings of the grinding Ten Years War. The Christian forces consisted of troops provided by Castellan nobles, Tau de Santa Hermanes, and Swiss mercenaries. The Catholic Church also encouraged other Christian countries to offer their force and finance to the war efforts. Meanwhile, the civil wars erupted in Granada due to succession struggles in the Narcid ruling house Castile. Use this internal suffrage as an opportunity to push further into Granada. By 1491, the city of Granada itself lay under siege. On the 25th of November, at the same year, the Treaties of Granada was signed, setting out the conditions for surrenders. On the 2nd of January 1492, the last Muslim leader, Muhammad XII, known as Bobadi, to the Spanish, gave up complete controls of Granada to Ferdinand and Isabella. Life under the Catholic monarchs in Granada was not so good. The Inquisition searched for false or repaired converts among the Morisco who had converted from Islam. Beginning in the decrease of 14 February 1502, Muslims in Granada had to choose between conversations to Catholicism or expulsion in the crowd of Aragon. Most Muslims faced this choice after the rules of the Brotherhood. It is important to note that the enforcement of the explosions of the Morisco was enforced, and eventually, especially in the land of the interior and the north, where the coexistence has lasted for 
over five centuries, and the population protect Moorish court, and other were particularly or entirely ignored. The War of the Abu Jara, a general Muslim Moorish court uprising in Canada that expected to add Ottoman dismemberations in the peninsula, ending the forced dispersal of about half of the region Morisco, Total Castile, and Andalusia, and increased suspicions by Spanish authorities against this community that made many Muslims who lived in the area were killed or forced to Catholicism. The position was first abolished during the dominion of Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1813, the rebel deputies of the court of Cardes also obtained its abolition, mainly due to holy office conditions of the popular revolts against the French invasions. But the Inquisition was reconstructed when Ferdinand VII recovered the thrones on the 1st of July 1814. Juan Antonio Lorente, who had been the Inquisition's general, secretary in 1789, became the Bonapalace and published a critical history in 1817 from his French exile. Based on his privileged access to it archive, possibly due to Lockland criticism, the Inquisition was once again temporarily abolished during the three years liberal it had interrupted, known as the Terreno Ribello. However, the old system still had not yet had its last gasp. Later, during the period known as the Omnibus Decades, the Inquisition was not formally established, although the facto its return under so called concretions of the meeting of fate. Torrent in the Diagnosis by King Ferdinand on 26 of July 1826. The meetings of fate, congregations condemned and executed the school teacher, Cayetero Ribo, who thus became the last person known to be executed by the Inquisition. On that day, Ripero was hanged in Valencia for having taught decided principles these executions occurred against the European Y scandal, concentrating the despotic attitude still perishing in Spain. Finally, on 15 of July 1834, the Spanish Inquisition was definitely abolished by the royal decree signed by Regent Maria Cristina of the Two Sicily, Ferdinand VII Ribello's widow during the minorities of Isabella II, and with the approval of the president of the cabinet Francisco Martinez de la Rosa. Around thousands of Jews, Muslims, and unorthodox were the victims of the Spanish Inquisition, and some of the conversos fled to the New World. The interrogating document of the Spanish Inquisition was destroyed during the Civil War. The Civil War was called the Spanish Civil War, and it will be the another video, and we didn't know about the interrogation scenes during the Inquisition. The other thing that I will know is the documents written by the historians and the documentaries of these horrors of the Inquisition. And that is the video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Heart of Darkness. And if some part were inaccurate, I would apologize about it. And thank you for watching.